Alpha Centauri is a binary system located approximately 4.4 light-years away from our solar system. The primary components of this system are Alpha Centauri A and B. Alpha Centauri A, also known as Rigel Kinteraus, is the brightest star in the system. It is a sun-like star, larger and more massive than our sun, with a diameter 1.2 times that of the sun and a mass 1.1 times greater. Rigel Kinteraus has a surface temperature of about 5,790 kelvins and is 1.5 times more luminous than the sun. Historically, Alpha Centauri was documented in Almagest, a star catalog pinned by Ptolemy around 150 AD. Despite its ancient documentation, it wasn't until the late 1600s that astronomers realized it was a multi-star system. In December 1689, Father Jean Richard, a French Jesuit priest, identified the individual stars while observing a passing comet. This discovery marked the second binary star system to be found. The third and faintest star in Alpha Centauri, known as Alpha Centauri C or Proxima Centauri, was spotted in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn Aiton Innes. Proxima Centauri, located 4.2 light-years away from Earth, is the closest star to our planet after the Sun. Its name translates to nearest to Centaurus in Latin. Proxima Centauri is classified as a red dwarf star, with a mass approximately 12.5% that of the Sun and a diameter around 14% of our stars. Despite its smaller size, Proxima Centauri is significantly denser than the Sun, being about 33 times denser. This red dwarf star, known as Proxima Centauri, is classified as a main sequence star. Similar to the Sun, it generates energy by converting hydrogen into helium through nuclear fusion at its core. However, Proxima Centauri has a luminosity of only 0.17% compared to the Sun, indicating that it produces energy at a much lower rate. Consequently, while our Sun is expected to have a main sequence lifespan of approximately 10 billion years, with around 5 billion years remaining, Proxima Centauri will continue on this evolutionary path for another 4 trillion years, which is roughly 300 times the current age of the universe, estimated at 13.8 billion years. Despite its longevity, Proxima Centauri will eventually face a fate similar to that of the Sun. Once its hydrogen supply is depleted, it will transform into a white dwarf star, lacking the necessary mass to become a neutron star or a black hole. Proxima Centauri is a faint star with a magnitude of 11.05, making it generally invisible to the naked eye. However, due to its classification as a flare star, it is prone to sudden bursts of brightness caused by magnetic activity, resulting in powerful phenomena that can be observed from Earth. In 2019, Scientists observed one of the largest stellar flares ever recorded in the Milky Way originating from Proxima Centauri. Lasting only 7 seconds, this plasma jet was approximately 100 times more powerful than any flare observed from the Sun. The first superflare from Proxima Centauri was detected in 2016 and was bright enough to be visible to the naked eye in dark locations on Earth. Rigel Kinteraus is in a binary system with Ptolemy or Alpha Centauri b, the second brightest star in Alpha Centauri. The two stars complete an orbit around each other in 22 Earth days and are separated by approximately 23 astronomical units. Ptolemy is an orange main sequence star, smaller and less massive than the Sun, with a surface temperature of 5,260 Kelvin and about half as luminous as our Sun. Proxima Centauri is gravitationally linked to this binary system, located around 13,000 astronomical units away. Recent research indicates that Proxima Centauri orbits Rigel Kinteraus and Ptolemy in the same direction as the binary stars relative to the Sun, taking approximately 550,000 years to complete one orbit. This study also suggests that Proxima Centauri's orbit may have influenced the evolution of planets orbiting these three stars. In light of Alpha Centauri being the nearest star system to Earth, it is not surprising that it is a focal point for extensive exoplanet searches. Astronomers have indeed identified multiple potential worlds within the system. A total of five planets have been observed in the Alpha Centauri system, three revolving around Proxima Centauri or Alpha Centauri C and two encircling Ptolemy or Alpha Centauri B. Although some of these findings are still pending confirmation. One of these planets is the exoplanet Alpha Centauri BB, which was first detected in 2012. This planet orbits its star at a mere distance of 3.7 million miles, more than 10 times closer than Mercury is to the Sun. 
Consequently, if the existence of Alpha Centauri BB is verified, it is subjected to substantial radiation levels, resulting in a scorching surface temperature of 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,200 degrees Celsius, leading to a surface covered in lava, as per NASA's announcement. Another potential planet around Ptolemy appears to be less extreme. Alpha Centauri BC, a hypothetical Earth-like candidate, was identified through a decrease in light from its host star as the planet transited across its face. This planet is believed to be similar in size to Earth, with an orbit lasting 20 Earth days. Astronomers have increased their confidence in the planet's found orbiting Proxima Centauri. Discovered in 2016, Proxima Centauri b is classified as a super-Earth that circles its star at a distance approximately 5% of the gap between Earth and the Sun, as stated by NASA. Despite having a mass similar to Earth's and a slightly larger radius, Proxima Centauri b takes only 11.2 Earth days to complete an orbit due to its close proximity to the star. Even though Proxima Centauri b is much nearer to its star compared to Earth's distance from the Sun, it still falls within the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri because of the low energy output of the red dwarf star. Further away from Proxima Centauri, at approximately 1.5 astronomical units from the red dwarf and outside its habitable zone, lies the mini-Neptune exoplanet Proxima Centauri c. This exoplanet, which is about seven times the size of Earth, orbits its star once every 1,900 Earth days, according to the Open Exoplanet Catalog. Proxima Centauri c was initially detected in 2019 due to the wobble it caused in the motion of its parent star. The existence of Proxima Centauri c was confirmed in 2020 through images captured by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1995, making it one of the few exoplanets visually confirmed. In 2022, a third planet was identified around Proxima Centauri, named Proxima Centauri d. This exoplanet has roughly a quarter of Earth's mass and orbits its star at about 3% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. Proxima Centauri d completes an orbit every five Earth days due to its close proximity to the star, making it one of the lightest exoplanets observed by astronomers. It is widely acknowledged that one of the greatest obstacles we would encounter in establishing a new habitation in the Alpha Centauri system is the immense distance separating us from these three stars. Despite being the nearest star system to Earth, Alpha Centauri is still more than four light years away, equivalent to approximately 23.5 trillion miles. To cover such an astronomical expanse, we would require a spacecraft capable of traveling at a significantly higher velocity or an alternative method of transportation. According to NASA, the Discovery Space Shuttle, which was retired in 2011, had a speed of approximately 17,500 miles per hour. Even if we were to maintain this velocity consistently, it would take over 148,000 years to reach Alpha Centauri. Even with the anticipated top speed of around 20,000 miles per hour for the Orion spacecraft, the crew capsule associated with the Artemis program, the travel time to Proxima Centauri would not be significantly reduced. This is true even if these vehicles were specifically designed for interstellar journeys rather than relatively shorter trips to the Moon or Mars. Thus far, the only spacecraft to venture beyond our solar system are Voyager 1 and 2. NASA estimates that even with speeds exceeding 35,000 miles per hour, it would take these spacecraft nearly 40,000 years to cover a distance of two light years and reach the ambiguous boundary between our solar system and Proxima Centauri. Consequently, it is conceivable that it would take over 80,000 years for these spacecraft to reach the star itself. The stars and planets of Alpha Centauri are gradually approaching Earth, albeit at a very slow pace. As per the Simbad Astronomical Database operated by the University of Strasbourg, it is estimated that Alpha Centauri will reach its closest proximity to our solar system in approximately 30,000 years, when it will be approximately three light years away. Following this, 3,000 years later, the star system will begin to move away from our solar system once again, resulting in Proxima Centauri no longer being the closest neighboring star to the Sun. At that point, another star called Ross 248, or HH Andromedae, will take its place. Ross 248, also classified as a red dwarf star, is currently situated around 10.3 light years away from the Sun and ranks as the 10th closest star to our solar system. In 1993, it was projected that this star would enter a phase that would bring it as close as 3.02 light years from the Sun in approximately 36,000 years. 